Ralph Lauren, the iconic American fashion designer, built an empire that goes beyond the world of haute couture. From his humble beginnings in the Bronx, selling ties to creating a lifestyle synonymous with elegance and luxury, his unique vision and ability to translate elite aesthetics into casual and accessible clothing revolutionized the fashion industry. But what if we told you that his story isn't just about fashion success? Welcome back to Corporate Catalysts, where we take a look at the world's most captivating businesses, brands, and icons. Today, we'll explore the fascinating true story of Ralph Lauren. Let's dive in. Ralph Lifshitz, who later changed his surname to Lauren, was born on October 14, 1939, in the Bronx, New York. Raised in a working-class family, Lauren showed early interest in fashion and style. His vision of elegance and luxury, influenced by classic films and the sophistication of New York's elite, began to take shape from a young age. After graduating from high school, Ralph Lauren briefly worked for Brooks Brothers, an experience that allowed him to immerse himself in the world of men's fashion and learn the ins and outs of the business. However, it was his time in the United States Army that shaped his character and provided him with discipline and determination. After his military service, Lauren continued his quest in the fashion world, working as a tie salesman for the men's clothing company Beau Brumel. This experience not only gave him invaluable understanding of the market and trends, but also inspired him to launch his own line of ties. In 1967, with the help of a $50,000 loan, Ralph Lauren founded the company Polo Fashions, introducing his line of ties. With a clear vision and an innate sense of style, Lauren quickly transformed the brand into a symbol of American elegance, redefining the standards of men's fashion. This determined entrepreneur started his business in a modest space within a showroom in the iconic Empire State Building in New York, a place that symbolized the American dream and entrepreneurial spirit. Lauren's decision to initially focus on ties demonstrated his strategic vision and understanding of the market. Ties, an essential accessory in men's wardrobes, became the perfect platform to introduce his distinctive and sophisticated style to the world. Impeccable quality and elegant design quickly caught consumers' attention, laying the groundwork for the brand's future success. Just a year later, in 1968, Ralph Lauren took another significant step by expanding his line to include a full range of men's fashion. From clothing to accessories, Lauren offered men a refined and timeless aesthetic that deeply resonated in the market. His ability to understand and anticipate consumers' needs was evident in every design, solidifying Polo Ralph Lauren's position as a benchmark of style and quality in men's fashion. During the 1970s, Ralph Lauren's rise as a fashion designer was impressive. After the initial success with his iconic ties, Lauren didn't stop and kept expanding his fashion empire. His venture into women's fashion marked a major milestone in his career. In a savvy move, he launched his women's clothing line, Polo Women's Wear, which reflected the same elegance and timeless style that had defined his menswear. Ralph Lauren's women's clothing collection was not only well-received, but also caused a stir among women seeking refined and classic style. With meticulous attention to detail and an unparalleled understanding of American style, Lauren created garments that blended sophistication with comfort, capturing the essence of modern chic. Lauren's garments for women offered an alternative to the conventional women's fashion of the time, which tended towards the exaggerated and ostentatious. Instead, his designs were sleek and timeless, with a focus on impeccable cuts and high-quality materials. From blouses to dresses and pants, each piece in the collection reflected Ralph Lauren's distinctive style. The success of the women's clothing line further solidified Ralph Lauren's position as one of the most influential designers of the time. His ability to capture the essence of American style and translate it into elegant and desirable garments placed him at the forefront of the fashion industry. With each new collection, Lauren demonstrated his ability to evolve with the times without ever losing his unique identity and creative vision. As the brand's popularity grew exponentially, Ralph Lauren wasn't content with simply dominating the American market. He had much bigger ambitions. With unwavering vision and determination, 
Lauren took his brand to an international scale, establishing boutiques in some of the world's most important cities, from the iconic Fifth Avenue in New York to the elegant streets of Paris. Ralph Lauren's expansion strategy wasn't limited to just fashion, and recognizing the importance of diversifying its product offering, Lauren expanded his empire to include fragrances, home accessories, and furniture. This wide range of products allowed the Ralph Lauren brand to position itself as a symbol of American luxury and an aspirational lifestyle that transcended cultural and geographical boundaries. The 1980s witnessed explosive growth for Ralph Lauren Corporation. In 1984, the company went public on the New York Stock Exchange, marking a significant milestone in its history and providing the company with the capital needed to expand even further. This strategic move not only consolidated Ralph Lauren's position in the financial market, but also paved the way for even greater global expansion. Not only was Ralph Lauren a fashion icon, he was also a marketing pioneer who recognized early on the power of associating his brand with a sophisticated and aspirational lifestyle. Through slick advertising campaigns and sponsorship of high-profile events, Ralph Lauren became a symbol of status and elegance, attracting a loyal global consumer base and cementing his place as one of the most influential brands in the fashion industry. His cultural impact extended beyond the runway and into the realms of entertainment and pop culture. Over the years, his designs have graced countless celebrities and become synonymous with red carpet glamour and high-profile events. In the world of cinema, Ralph Lauren's influence is undeniable with his creations gracing iconic films that have left a lasting mark on popular culture. From Robert Redford's impeccable attire in 1974's The Great Gatsby, which captured the opulence of the jazz age, to Diane Keaton's distinctive style in 1977's Annie Hall, which defined 1970s fashion with its mix of masculine and feminine garments, Ralph Lauren's designs have contributed significantly to the cinematic aesthetic. Beyond the silver screen, Ralph Lauren has dressed numerous political figures and royalty, solidifying its position as an internationally recognized brand. From U.S. First Ladies like Betty Ford to European royalty like Spain's Queen Letizia, Ralph Lauren's creations have been consistently chosen by those in positions of power and prestige, underscoring its status as a symbol of luxury and distinction. These collaborations with influential figures have not only raised Ralph Lauren's profile on the global stage, but also cemented its legacy as one of the most important and enduring brands in fashion history. Despite its massive success in global brand status, Ralph Lauren Corporation has faced various controversies throughout its history that have tested its reputation and position in the fashion industry. One of the most prominent controversies involved the company in the 1990s, when it was criticized for a lack of diversity on the runway and in its advertising campaigns. The brand was accused of not adequately representing racial and ethnic diversity in its models, sparking a debate about inclusion and representation in the fashion industry. The controversy led Ralph Lauren Corporation to publicly commit to increasing diversity within its organization and ensuring more equitable representation in its campaigns. In 2010, the company was also sued for discrimination by a former African-American employee. The plaintiff alleged that he was racially harassed and denied a promotion because of his race. Although Ralph Lauren denied the allegations, the case drew intense public scrutiny and highlighted concerns about diversity and equality in the workplace. In addition to these specific controversies, Ralph Lauren Corporation has faced broader criticism regarding its manufacturing practices and environmental impact. Concerns have been raised about working conditions in the factories that produce garments for the brand, as well as the use of materials and processes that may be harmful to the environment. In addition, the brand has had to grapple with the changing retail landscape in the digital age. With the exponential growth of e-commerce and the rise of fast fashion brands, the company was forced to adapt its strategy to remain relevant in an increasingly competitive market. To address these challenges, Ralph Lauren has made significant investments in its online presence 
and implemented omni-channel strategies to enhance the customer experience. From optimizing its website to developing mobile applications and expanding its e-commerce platforms, the company has sought to adapt to changing consumer preferences and secure its position as a leader in the fashion industry. Despite these controversies, Ralph Lauren Corporation has worked to address concerns and improve its public image. The company has implemented policies and practices to promote diversity and inclusion, increase transparency and sustainability in its supply chain, and adapt to new market demands. Through these efforts, Ralph Lauren has demonstrated its commitment to corporate responsibility and its determination to meet the challenges of an ever-changing world. From his humble beginnings in the Bronx, Ralph Lauren has built a world-renowned fashion empire that has garnered him numerous awards and honors throughout his career. In 1970, he received the Cody Award, one of the highest honors in the fashion industry. Since then, he has received numerous awards from the Council of Fashion Designers of America, CFDA, including the prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award in 1992 in recognition of his lasting contribution to American fashion. In 2010, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by then-President Barack Obama in recognition of his impact on American culture. He has also received numerous awards for his philanthropy and support of charitable causes, including the James Smithson Bicentennial Award for his leadership in preserving national heritage. Ralph Lauren's legacy is not limited to his individual accomplishments, but also manifests itself in his lasting influence on fashion and culture. His brand of understated luxury and effortless elegance continues to be a style reference for people around the world. His focus on innovation and quality has set a standard for the industry, inspiring emerging designers and establishing a role model for success in fashion. The year 2015 was a watershed moment in the history of Ralph Lauren Corporation when its founder, Ralph Lauren, dropped the bombshell that he was stepping down as the brand's CEO. Though Lauren would still be involved as executive chairman and remain the brains behind the brand's creation and vision, the shift signaled a major shift in the company's strategic direction. Ralph Lauren's decision to pass the CEO baton came at a time when the brand was looking to navigate an ever-changing retail landscape and meet the challenges of the digital age. With a legendary career spanning decades, Lauren recognized the importance of bringing new energy and fresh perspectives to the brand to ensure its continued success. To fill those big shoes, Ralph Lauren Corporation turned to Stefan Larson, an executive with a proven track record in the retail industry. Larson, who led a sales revival at the Old Navy Apparel brand, was chosen for his talent in revitalizing established brands and driving growth in a cutthroat market. Stefan Larson's arrival as the new CEO of Ralph Lauren Corporation unleashed a wave of anticipation and expectation. His appointment was greeted with optimism by investors and industry analysts alike, who saw in him the ability to breathe new life into the brand and lead it to new heights of success. Under Larson's leadership, Ralph Lauren Corporation sought to expand its global footprint, strengthen its digital position, and deepen its connection with consumers. Unfortunately, Larson's tenure as CEO was short-lived as he stepped down on May 1st, 2017 after only two years after reported creative clashes with founder Ralph Lauren. Patrice Louvet was announced as the new CEO shortly thereafter on May 17, 2017. Today, Ralph Lauren Corporation is a fashion and lifestyle empire worth an estimated $10 billion. The company has not only maintained its position as an industry leader, but has also diversified its portfolio to include a total of 17 fashion brands and four lifestyle brands. With 493 company-operated stores in 30 countries, Ralph Lauren Corporation has achieved a global presence that continues to grow. The company's financial success is reflected in its impressive sales and profit figures. In recent years, Ralph Lauren Corporation's sales have doubled, while net income has increased significantly. This sustained growth is a testament to the company's commitment to excellence and innovation in all aspects of its business. Patrice Louvet, who assumed the role of CEO in 2017, 
brought extensive experience in the consumer products industry, Louvet has led the company to new heights of success, leveraging his deep market knowledge and strategic vision to drive growth and expansion. Under the leadership of Patrice Louvet, Ralph Lauren Corporation remains true to its core mission of inspiring the dream of a better life through authenticity and timeless style. The company continues to innovate and evolve to meet the changing needs and desires of its customers, while maintaining its commitment to quality, craftsmanship, and social and environmental responsibility. With a renewed focus on sustainability and positive impact, Ralph Lauren is in a strong position to continue leading the fashion industry into the 21st century. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts on the history of this iconic fashion brand. What do you think of Ralph Lauren products? Would you like to own one? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to check out the thumbnail on your screen for another captivating tale. See you next time.